Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Guntur Medical College, Department of Anatomy. This is the dissected upper limb. In this dissected uh, dissection video, we will see the course of the median nerve. So the course of the median nerve is an important essay. All the three nerves are important essay for the UGs and for the PGs. So we will see the course of this median nerve in this uh, video. Then we will continue with ulnar nerve and radial nerve in the next video. Are you saying this is the front of the arm? So this is the median nerve. This painted nerve is the median nerve. And this is the brachial artery. Median nerve is formed in the axilla by the union of the two roots, which is not visible. Axilla is not present in this dissection part. So this, what we are seeing is this median nerve. It is in relation to the lateral part of the brachial artery in the front of the arm. Are you saying this is brachial artery? And here is the median nerve. So after formation in the axilla, this median nerve is lateral to the third part of the axillary artery and to the brachial artery. In the middle of the arm, or you saying nicely, this median nerve is crossing from lateral to medial. At the level of the insertion of the coracobrachialis, this nerve is crossing from lateral to medial. Now we will dip, uh, reflect this biceps also so that to, for you to be clear or you see this is the brachial artery and this is the median nerve median nerve is medial to the brachial artery in the lower part of the front of the arm so in the upper part of the front of the arm it is lateral in the middle of the front of the arm it crosses from lateral to medial side in the lower part it is medial now this median nerve is entering the cubital fossa so are you seeing this is the cubital fossa formed by this pronate arteries and by this brachioradialis muscle. So this depression is the cubital fossa. This median nerve is the medial most content in the cubital fossa and this is the brachial artery related lateral to it. Here this median nerve is resting on the brachialis muscle that is the floor muscle of the cubital fossa. It leaves the cubital fossa between the two heads of the pronate arteries. This is one head and this is the another head. So between the two heads of the pronate arteries, it is leaving the cubital fossa. So that if you see that after leaving the cubital fossa, it passes. So this muscle is the flexor digitorum superficialis. It passes deep to the origin of the flexor digitorum superficialis. That is the tendinous origin it passes so that it is now related deep to the flexor digitorum superficialis. So you see, as if it is plastered to this muscle, flexor digitorum superficialis muscle, it runs in the front of the forearm. Then about 5 centimeters above the wrist, if you see, it comes from the lateral border of the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle, so that it will now lie between the superficialis muscle and this is the flexor carpi radialis tendon. This is the flexor carpi radialis tendon. So that is the course. So in this dissected limb as a whole, if you see, it is not seen in the upper part of the front of the forearm because it is deep to the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle. So after reaching the wrist, it, it enters the palm of the hand by passing deep to the flexor retinaculum. So the flexor retinaculum is like this present, which we have removed so that to dissect the course of the median nerve, it is deep to the flexor retinaculum, it passes just immediately beneath the flexor retinaculum, so that the nerve is flattened here, are you seeing? The nerve is flattened, so on come reaching the palm of the hand, it divides into one, this is the lateral branch, and this is the medial branch. This lateral branch will give rise to three proper digital nerves, are you seeing? Three proper digital nerves are present here, Proper digital means they will go directly to the digits without dividing. So two will run on the lateral and medial side of the thumb and one will reach the lateral side of the index finger. This medial division will give rise to two common digital nerves which is one is not present, it is disturbed. Two common digital nerves will come like this so that one will divide it like this in this uh, web space of between this index finger and the middle finger, other will come like this so that they will divide and enter the digits. As a whole, three and a half digits are supplied by this median nerve. This median nerve, what is its distribution? If you see, 
द मीडियन राम रनिंग इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द आर्म डज नॉट सप्लाई एनी मजुल इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द आर्म इट डज नॉट सप्लाई एनी मजुल इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द आर्म सो इट इज द नर्व ऑफ द फ्रंट ऑफ द फोर आर्म इफ यू सी वट आर द मजुल्स इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द फोर आर्म यू नो फाइव सुपरफिशियल मजुल्स एंड थ्री डीप मजुल्स सो द मीडियन नर्व इज नर्व ऑफ दिस फ्रंट ऑफ द फोर आर्म सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज लेबरर्स नर्व इट सप्लाइज द सुपरफिशियल ऑल द सुपरफिशियल मजुल Except this flexor carpi ulnaris, so that is the ulna ulnaris. The name itself tell. Then you can understand it will be supplied by ulnar nerve. So what are the muscles supplied by this median nerve? Here is pronate arteries, pronate arteries, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superficial. All these are supplied directly by the median nerve. This median nerve gives the anterior intraosseous branch. So we can see here in this part, it gives the anterior intraosseous branch, which will supply the deeper muscles. What are the deeper muscles? So this is the digitorum profundus, and this is the pollicis longus, and here we will have the pronator quadratus. In this digitorum profundus, this medial half will be supplied by the ulnar nerve, and the lateral half will be supplied by this anterior intraosseous branch of the median nerve. Otherwise. In the deeper muscles, flexor pollicis is longus, and lateral half of the digitorum profundus is supplied by anterior intraosseous nerve, and medial half of this flexor digitorum profundus is supplied by the ulnar nerve. Pronator quadratus is again supplied by the anterior intraosseous. Otherwise, how the student should remember is in this front of the forearm, except one and half muscles, that is the carpi ulnaris and medial half, which is supplied by the ulnar nerve. The remaining muscles are supplied directly by the median nerve or by the intraosseous nerve. When you come to the supply of the median nerve in the palm of the hand, it supplies three thinner muscles. That they are the abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, opponens pollicis, and first two lumbricals. Except that all the other intrinsic muscles of the hand will be supplied by the ulnar nerve. So the students have to remember it is the main nerve for the front of the forearm. And it supplies five muscles in the palm of the hand. That is the distribution of this median nerve. If you see the cutaneous, it supplies the half of the palm of the hand and medial three and a half digits. I hope you should have understood this course of the median nerve in this video. We will continue with the course of the ulnar nerve and radial nerve in the next video. Thank you.